So the wormhole airdrop is live. It's been a nice big airdrop, hugely underfarmed. When you compare it to layer zero and um, ZK Sync and the other top awaited airdrops that are coming. Congratulations if you've got the wormhole airdrop. Four to five figure airdrops all over the place. Make sure you go and check even if you don't think you have it. There was multiple ways that you could qualify and you may have used the wormhole bridge without even knowing. So I will leave the link in the description for that. But what we need to do now is look for the next wormhole. And I'm going to give you a list of the top ones that I am farming. There's going to be eight potential airdrops in this. Three of them are two in one. So let's get right into this. All right. So the next big airdrop within the cross chain narrative following wormhole is going to be layer zero. Now, layer zero might not produce the same big numbers like wormhole purely to the fact that it's nowhere near under farmed like wormhole was. There's three times the amount of wallets using layer zero, but the airdrops will still be nice. There will still be plenty of them. Um, the average might be one to two K. Whereas the average with wormhole is like three grand plus. But if you know what you're doing, you could farm with multiple wallets to increase the amount of the airdrop that you get. But I would only do that if you know what you're doing when it comes to using multiple wallets. You don't want your wallets um, connected to each other at all. You don't want to risk the chance of not being eligible for this. So for the most part, I would say just stick with one wallet, your best airdrop wallet. I'm not going to focus on layer zero within this one. Layer zero is going to be used with some of these bridges. Um, and they're going to be the two for ones. I've already got a tutorial on layer zero. I think I have two tutorials on it. So if you want to go look at layer zero more in depth, I will leave the links in the description for that. But a couple of these bridges do use layer zero. So we are going to be interacting with it. And one last thing before we get into it, sorry, is we are not too late until the projects announce that the snapshot has been taken. We keep pushing transactions. Okay, so to do this, to, to push some funds through all of these, bridges you can use one sum of funds so for instance if you had $100 you're going to use this $100 and you're going to push it through all of these protocols getting interactions on all of them one more thing to stress is you don't want to front load these transactions so don't for instance on jumper which is going to be the first one that we look at don't come and do three four five bridges in one day spread the transactions out over a number of days and weeks it's going to increase your chances of the airdrop and if you do it front loaded all over one or two days, you're going to decrease your chance of getting an airdrop as you might be filtered out as a bot. Along with layer zero, Jumper is probably the next big airdrop within the cross chain narrative. Um, and they've recently launched the points or the XP system for doing transactions. So if you go to the profile, Jumper profile, you'll be able to see your XP and what level you are from doing transactions what we do is we're going to move some funds through each of these chains and we would start with a low gas fee chain that also has the potential for airdrops so really and truly this is more than eight airdrops um, and this is more than a two in one using jumper this would be a three in one or even a four in one actually as we can do it like this so you could use base nice and cheap low gas fees and we would transfer it over to zk sync zk sync um no token yet zk sync has definitely got a token coming which i'm going to do a full tutorial on there's still time to get in on that airdrop no snapshots yet and then base has not got a token no confirmation of a token coming but a very very high chance that they will do a token and initially to get funds on base you would send it from whatever exchange you use binance um okx send the eth or you could do this in stable coins but you're going to need eth for the gas and you could send it over <clears throat> and send it over to your wallet on the base chain and that's where we're going to start base to zk sync and we need to make sure when you and we need to make sure that we use layer zero as the root to move these so when you go to transfer it it will come up with the routes that you can take choose layer zero so that we get an interaction with layer zero as well so that's four for one within this one transaction okay and then we have the magpie bridge so on the magpie what we will do is then bridge the um eth on zk sync over to arbitrum I also use this layer zero so make sure that you choose layer zero when choosing the route and also with magpie they have an nft that you can claim so for doing a transaction on polygon using magpie you can claim this nft 
Okay, and then we have Bungie. Um, this would be another top uh, bridge that I am anticipating for an airdrop along with Jumper and Layer Zero. So once you're on here, what we can do is then bridge from Arbitrum and we can bridge to either Base or ZK Sync so that we interact with those again. Or you could bridge over to Optimism or Polygon, another low gas fee chain. All right, and then we have D Bridge. So they have a points system coming up. Um, you can see the tab here, but it's not yet live. But all the bridges that you do now will go towards the points when this does go live. So you just want to bridge. If you bridged to base or optimism on that last um, bridge using Bungie, then we want to just bridge to Arbitrum um, or base, or we want to keep it within Arbitrum, base, optimism, polygon, you could bridge to linear as well. And then finally, we have Hyperlane. I think Hyperlane could be a really good airdrop. I would put this up there with Jumper just behind layer zero. And I think that Hyperlane is hugely underfarmed. This one is really, really underfarmed. So I would really, if you know, if I was going to choose the bridges to focus on, and if it was only two, it would be Jumper and it would be Hyperlane. And using Jumper, you can interact with layer zero anyway but it would for sure be these two. So I would not be fading Hyperlane. So the funds that would have been used on the last bridge, D bridge, I would send them over to my exchange, would exchange it for some Celestia and then send it to my Kepler wallet. And then we would do some bridges of Tia from Celestia to Neutron or to Injective. Okay, but that wraps this one up people. So 10 potential airdrops there from using one sum of money. And if I was gonna focus on two or three of these bridges, it would be layer zero, jumper, and hyperlane. And using jumper, you can also use layer zero. For layer zero, you would wanna use some other bridges like the Yaptos bridge and the Stargate bridge, the flagship bridge of layer zero. And as I said, I've got a tutorial on layer zero. So I will leave the link in the description for that. Remember, do not push loads of transactions on one or two days. Spread these over days, weeks, and even months. Stay consistent. We don't need to complicate it with bridges. We just need to do bridges. We don't need to be buying NFTs and bridging NFTs and doing every little transaction that we can possibly do. We just need to do some bridges on a consistent basis a week or even a couple times a month or we'll do it. And obviously, the bigger the amount you can bridge, the better. Let's make sure we get some nice four to five figure airdrops on these bridges. They will be the last big ones where we can get these airdrops within this cycle. So don't fade them. You can use multiple wallets if you want, but just make sure that those wallets do not um, connect in any way so that you don't get filtered out as a bot. But if you've got any questions, leave it in the comments. I will get back to you. Like and subscribe to stay up to date with the alpha. Turn those notifications on so you don't miss anything. And I will see you in the next one.